I've asked Coco to film us over the next four weeks to gather footage of us as university students living in London, documenting the highs and the lows that come with living in this big city. Myself, Louise, and my two flatmates and fellow UAL students, Johnny and Ella, all live together in our South London flat. This documentary is going to depict our lives as young professionals trying to unravel the mystery that is how to survive as art students in London. This is Johnny, that's Ella, and then that's me. As mentioned before, we all attend UAL and we all live together in our cosy little flat. We've been here for two years now and we're going to be sad to give this place up soon. I asked Johnny and Ella to participate in this documentary during our last few months together as flatmates. I wanted to show our personal journey together and as individuals and how we cope with living in London, managing the stigma as an art student and the pros and cons that come with being a student in this wonderful city. Going to an art university is always a fun conversation topic. A lot of people I've encountered over the past three years have been fascinated with the fact that I study live events in television. You study the telly, but how? Is often the reaction I'm confronted with. Or wow, that's so cool, what's it like? But what most people don't understand is that I don't just study one thing with a series of exams at the end of each year. Art courses are for the most part purely practical based with a portfolio to support your work. We all study something in the creative arts. Johnny is currently doing an internship year he has one year left on his menswear course at Central St. Martins. I am a fashion slave. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what I do at my internship, literally whatever he needs me to do. So basically, I've been sort of beading and um, embroidering, embroidering, is that even a word? On garments um, for a um, secret project, I can't say and um, been helping like uh, as like the sort of assistant stylist on a couple of shoots. I did Burberry and a recent shoot for ID that's coming out. I My internship is completely unpaid and I don't mind that because um, I'm getting to work on like really incredible projects um, that I wouldn't be able to sort of be doing otherwise. Um, I think the experience is more important than the, than the a sort of financial aid. I do think in being um, sort of an intern and um, experiencing all of this beforehand, say before you graduate and go into the real world, is um, definitely helpful because it, it builds your portfolio and it does heighten it um, a lot. Okay, can you take this off of me? And can you get me a glass of water as well? I'm parched. Ella also goes to the London College of Communication with myself. She's in her final year of film practice. And as for me, I'm also in my final year of live events and television. We often convene in Ella's room, ironically the smallest room in the house. We've spent many a night discussing the most important things from presidential elections to taking Buzzfeed quizzes at 3 a.m. and finding out what Disney princess matches our personality best. Because who doesn't want to know that? Ella and Coco, our cinematographer, have just been signed to Looty Media as a directing duo. I wanted to pick Ella's brains as to what she did in her earlier teenage years to get her in the position she is now. I've always been very interested in films themselves. Um, and one day I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna shoot a fashion film. So I did, and it turned out really good. And here I am, directing with Coco, all around the world. If I didn't go to uni, I feel like I defo could have worked my way through with networking. I think, uni helped me work in a team and learn that teamwork is better than working by myself because I started making films all by myself and I wanted to work all by myself because I thought it, that was like the way but I realised it's not the way. Well I started I started off in uni in Bournemouth and then I realised that all the people that I'd net networked with and all the contacts that I'd made when I was doing blogging were all in London all the events were in London, all the shops that I needed to get stuff from if I was making sets was in London, all press was in London, so not being in that, just being by the seaside, I mean, I'm a city girl, like I, I grew up in the city and living by the seaside was great and everything, but I kind of 
was out of that circle and then I had to, when I left uni and I came back to London I had to try and like find my way back in which luckily I did um, but I came back to London because it's just the best place to be everyone's here and in a good way and also a bad way it makes everything easier because everything's in one city it's like the hot like the hot spot to be Johnny is getting ready for our leaving party as the contract on our flat ends in a few weeks so he wanted to commemorate our time here with a good old-fashioned house party I wanted to catch him in his drag transformation drag was sort of like a quite a recent thing um like literally growing up from like when i was born to when i when when i left india at the age of 18 i had, I had no idea what drag was it was never something i explored or really knew about so it was when i moved to singapore after india um that i found drag race i don't i just thought it was um like a serious art form yeah. um, due to just how much effort goes into all of this female illusion so I never really started until I again left Singapore to go to London in uni um, when I was away from my parents my siblings um, didn't have very many friends so it was just kind of like I have nothing to lose by making myself look crazy so I thought it was um, a really great um, like source of inspiration for me to look from somewhere that um, other people weren't necessarily looking from. I mean, that's what I thought until I realized every gay was doing that, <laughs> but hey, whatever. As well as gathering in Ella's room, the dining room table is the second most popular spot in the house. Besides from eating dinner together on the odd occasion due to our busy schedules, we try and spend time together working on our respective projects. Today, we took a trip to LCC, or the London College of Communication as it's better known. Myself, Ella and our cinematographer Coco spent an afternoon in the canteen discussing the comparisons between first, second and third year at uni. I also wanted to ask Ella on her thoughts about the importance of a part-time job and whether she thinks living in London without one would be feasible. Yeah, second year, um, no sorry, first year was kind of the time for us to like get to know everyone, it was more yeah. like get to know your team, get to who know who you, you work want to work with. with. And then second year was like, you need to find what you want to do. And yeah. during second year, one of our projects is when we, um, they really encouraged us to experiment. So like, if you if you think you want to be an editor, do production design. Yeah. If you think you want to direct, be an editor. So that's what I did. I thought I wanted to direct, which I still do. Yeah. Um, then I thought I wanted to just solely edit. And then I realized that I really struggled to sit in a room for hours and concentrate yeah. so cool. i did um set design and then i realized that it actually marries the two things that i love doing i don't know i feel like most people i talk to like uni is worth it like even if it's just the experience of like moving out of home and just like balancing like life outside of home kind of thing so okay happy. defo think it is worth it 100%. um i've been a bartender for five years no, four years, sorry, as a, as a side job. So I always was part-time bartending along with uni. And that's kind of like how I got my money, it's how I paid for my food. Yeah. Um, my rent came from my student loan, mostly. Yeah. Um, but there was a time when I didn't have a job. Oh, yeah. January 2017, January last year. never forget. I didn't have a job from, from December until March. And that was literally the most stressful time because I had no money, no income whatsoever. I don't ever want to be in that state where I can't go and do something I enjoy yeah. because I don't have the money, have for, the money it. for it. I'd have rather just have the job, put in the hours. Because I, I never hated the bar job. Yeah, I like always love working yeah. on bars, but it's just now that it's gotten to the point where I can't really do that job mm. because... But my I mean, new job is yeah, so like, like you've been signed to a company mm -hmm. like that is literally like having two full time jobs like it's yeah, a bit because yeah. it's just so like new things will kind of happen all yeah. the time to make it in this industry like you have to take those risks like as cringy and as cliche as it sounds like if you don't put yourself out there like you're just going to fall under the radar and never get noticed as like an art director or a director editor like just scare me <laughs> Although we've mentioned the problems of university life, it is important not to dwell on the negative aspects as there is so much that London has to offer to creative individuals. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work at first, 
Just keep going and make sure to surround yourself with people who are going to support you and your dreams. Ha 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 ha!